might seem an ordinary pile of rock, but this was a very defensible position. They had a pile of rock across here that was much higher, and that would be the defensive point. And their house, their rock houses were up in here. There were, might have been room for a dozen people to live right there. They're on a peninsula, and no enemy can attack them as long as they can defend their um, critical point right here, because they live basically on a rock peninsula cliff, and their houses are right up in there. And I'll show you where, what their houses are. Their houses uh, are, um, you better stop. Most of the pictures you see in this display are of, of rock structures. But here is a temporary shelter called a wikia. <clears throat> and what the Indians would do is this temporary shelter is just a whole pile, a conical pile of sticks. And it's hollow inside and you stay in there and that would be your outpost for going hunting. Whereas the their rock uh, houses are further up the canyon into the uh, recesses of the um, drainage. So this is like a temporary thing. And they might put brush or skins over the top of it in case there was bad weather and it would provide shelter for them. This is one of my favorite pictures. This is in what, an area called Beef Basin. And unlike most of the structures that you see in this exhibit, this was not in an alcove or a big cave. This is built up on a hilltop. This area called Beef Basin had a different style of Native American life where they built structures right out in the open and were able to live in them and farm the areas around them. This was actually three or four stories high. There was uh, several other uh, rooms that were on top of what you see right here and a lot of it has collapsed. It was a, it's a fantastic hilltop defensive fortification and housing unit that kind of like a medieval castle you might have seen in Europe. A solid roof. This picture I called solid roof, but most photographers go here with their color cameras and they take pictures of this and they call it house on fire because all of the striation above it is a kind of a, 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 an orangish color and they ramp up the colors to make it look like literally this rock house is on fire. But I'm a black and white photographer. So what did I do? I photograph it in, in uh, you know, monochromatic black, gray, and white tones. And my title of it is a solid roof because I thought, wow, it didn't look like a huge bonnet that was placed on top of these rooms. But of course, you know, it's just set into a cave. This one is unusual because it's not a living quarter. It's actually a defensive tower. They probably had it uh, 10, 15, or maybe 20 feet taller than it is today. And it's right on the top of a big, uh, or the head of a big canyon. So the Indians probably were up in here and they had maybe different uh, uh, rooms uh, with beams going across. So they had maybe two or three different floors here. And they would look out into the canyon as a defensive uh, tactic to make sure nobody was coming up the canyon that they didn't want to see. So this is really probably not a place where they lived or stored corn. Uh, it's where they uh, were able to look out and defend themselves. This picture shows what is called a granary where they would store their corn. You have to make it like airtight, uh, keep the rodents out. So they went to a lot of effort to create these storage units for their corn. Some of the ruins we go to, you can still see the corn cobs laying in it. And the corn cobs are really small. Literally, the corn cobs might be as big as your finger. They're not these huge ears of corn like we buy at our grocery stores. And if you come over here, you will see how they grind their corn. Uh, it's called a, 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 a matate. And they put the corn down in there and grind it back and forth. Usually women did that. And so you got these grooves. Uh, a mano and a matate for grinding the corn. And it usually would grind a little bit of the rock into it. So when they were eating their corn, they also got some grit in. This is a very sacred place. Uh, this was a log kiva, which is a ceremonial gathering place. And it was in a huge cathedral-like alcove. Must have been a couple hundred feet wide and maybe a hundred feet high. We felt we had walked into literally a natural cathedral. It's very understandable why 
they wanted to have religious communal ceremonies here. This is called a well-hidden run, and that's not by accident. We knew where this was by a GPS uh, uh, waypoint that we had, but we were literally standing on the cliff above it, and we couldn't even see how to get, we couldn't see it, we couldn't get to it, and we noticed a little path through a very steep cliff, and we got down to it. Uh, no wonder, and nobody could ever see it unless you knew exactly the GPS waypoint. This is in a cavern, and there were trees out in front of it. So if you were out in the canyon, you couldn't look up and see this. This is a magnificent multi-room structure that you cannot ever find unless you know exactly where it is by having the GPS location. <laughs>